Excellence uh, William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and host of this summit. Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Mr. Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of the United Nations, Madame von der Leyen, President of the European Commission, Mr. Musafaki Mahamat, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor for me to take the floor on this day on behalf of His Excellency Felix Antoine Tshisekedi Chilombo, President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, on the occasion of this African Climate Summit in this magnificent and beautiful Kenya International Conference Center. Like uh, those who took the floor before me, I would like uh, to thank the Republic of Kenya, the sister republic, uh, for the warm welcome accorded to my uh, delegation. And uh, I would like to extend this gratitude on behalf of uh, the president of the DRC. Organizing the thing that is to develop positive solutions for climate in favor of Africa and the world. This summit uh, affords my country the opportunity to meet uh, the expectations uh, as regards the problem of climate, uh, and uh, precepts are based uh, on three fundamental principles, that is a green economy, biodiversity, and uh, renewable energy. As we can no, not uh, overemphasize that uh, the DRC is a kind of solution country which imposes uh, on the world because of its potential and innumerable assets, uh, which uh, is an undeniable contribution that is there for the conservation of nature. A favorable ecosystem, a country, in fact, uh, has huge uh, forest uh, resources and 155 million uh, hectares, which is more than 10 percent uh, of the forest of the Congo Basin, an important uh, reserve uh, and a well of uh, more than uh, 30 gigaton uh, of uh, carbon uh, and uh, also its potential of the solar uh, energy, which represents 37.7% uh, represent uh, of Africa and the world. The Democratic Republic of the Congo can, through its uh, hydro uh, electric uh, power can uh, provide and supply Africa with uh, this energy and also its uh, young population, its uh, labor force, uh, and which is a great potential. And as President Ruto has said earlier on, the poten African potential is known. Here, it is a question of transforming this potential and harness this potential in uh, responding to uh, the issues of climate. We, last year, had a crisis, the fact of the deregulation of the wells and the dry season, which, uh, in fact, uh, had a lean uh, corn season in uh, East Africa, in Central Africa, as well as Southern Africa. And this has destabilized our economies. This has made us more aware of the response that we should give uh, to this climate uh, problem. For me, and the response of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, there are three indispensable ingredients. One is the will, solidarity, and determination. Vol the will is through the honoring of commitments that we make, particularly the countries that pollute uh, and as regards the carbon tax uh, as agreed at the COP15. will on uh, financing, innovative financing uh, 
and uh, financing green economy as agreed uh, at the last summit in Paris. And then the investment on energy, the development of value chains here in Africa, and this with uh, a response for jobs for our youth and the will to enable us, as it has been said here, but is access uh, to financing on uh, fair and equitable conditions and the reduction of uh, debt of the vulnerable economies through compensation because it has also been proposed and I uh, think it has to be recalled. And the second ingredient is solidarity. Solidarity as regards uh, projects of common interest. I'm here think, thinking of uh, and referring to energy, green energy, the needs in energy and the people who live in the forest and also thinking of the Inga Dam and integrating a project and we are open to proposals so that we need the efforts of each and every one. I can give another example, the agreement between the DRC and Zambia on the development of value chains, solidarity on issues of common interest as is the case uh, like the Congo Basin, the Amazon, and uh, the Mekoma Basin, as called by President Denis Sassoum Ghetto. And then solidarity as regards peace and security in order to guarantee the protection of uh, forests, biodiversity, which has been uh, destroyed uh, by uh, various uh, criminal activities. Then determination, which is the third ingredient. In the search uh, for innovative uh, solutions to climate, as it is the case here in Kenya, and then the determination uh, for a better world to be, to be bequeathed to our children. And also the new uh, climate economy and access uh, to conservation and the rehabilitation and restoration of our forests for the production of uh, and then regenerating regenerative uh, agriculture and also to ensure food security. It is for this reason that uh, we are in favor of uh, the establishment of a fund for climate change. We also are making an advocacy, and we want to do it on the margins of the Joint General Assembly, where the, which will be organized on 19 September, on a carbon market uh, that will be profitable for Africa and that will be on the margins of that summit. So all these issues, we show solidarity. And uh, this should apply not only to Africa, but also beyond. I sincerely want to thank President Ruto and all the participants uh, for this opportunity that is afforded to us uh, through this summit, uh, which will contribute uh, undoubtedly to all the meetings on climate. I want to thank you all. Thank you very much, my brother Sama, for your comments. And um, another round of applause for my brother Sama. Let me ask um, that we now prepare the clip from my sister,